uh, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me about the nation of Kenya. Uh, today, this past night, the Lord Jehovah spoke with me about this nation of Kenya. And uh, this nation of Kenya has blackmailed the Lord. Has blackmailed the Lord, has blackmailed his two servants. And the Lord spoke this morning, this night morning time, and uh, with in great anger, and the voice of the Lord said, the Lord is angry. The voice of the Lord said, the Lord is angry. And then immediately at that time, the Lord instructed his two dreadful prophets to speak judgment over this land. And then I saw an earthquake hit this country. I saw the building shake very, very violently. I saw an earthquake that hit the country. So again, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me about the blackmail in the media, in the internet, and everything that this country has done against his two servants. And the Lord spoke by voice, and he said that the Lord is angry. The Lord is angry with this country, angry. Then after that, he shook this nation. So the blackmail, the character assassination, the mockery that this nation has conducted against the Lord and against his two most dreadful servants, most glorified servants that everybody can see in broad daylight that these servants of the Lord are glorified. These ones you cannot touch and get away with it. And then you decided, you chose as a media to touch them. You decided to attempt to touch them and blackmail them. And then and, and write vitriol and venom and Photoshop pictures and videos and what against them and put in your newspapers and everything and you blackmail them. That you cannot do that and get away with it. So the Lord has spoken a very severe judgment, and by voice he said, the Lord is angry. And then I saw that he instructed his servants to strike this land with an earthquake, and then an earthquake hit the land. I have seen an earthquake hit this land, and the building shook violently up and down, up and down, left and right. I have seen that already. And so, the, the Lord has watched everything, how this nation has blackmailed the two prophets who are very glorified and glorious. And everybody can see that these are very glorious prophets. Even the cloud of God settles on them. And everybody can see that these two prophets are very mysterious. You cannot touch them. It will hurt you. And yet this nation attempted to blackmail them, to ridicule them, to mock them and slander them and Photoshop what, what, what and put on their newspapers and their media houses. And then I know they have attempted to pull them down now from the Internet. I know that they have attempted to clean them out after realizing that their slander was obvious. However, however, the Lord has, taken it, has not taken it lightly with them. He has taken it very seriously that they could attempt to touch these two prophets of eternity. You cannot touch these two prophets of eternity and enter the eternity of heaven with God. You cannot touch these two prophets of Yahweh, the prophets of eternity, the prophets of the coming of the Messiah, and then enter into the kingdom of God. That is obvious to even a small child. Even a 12-year-old can tell that, a 6-year-old can tell that. And so I have seen the wrath of God come into this land for the manner in which they attempted to slander, blackmail, ridicule, and mock these two tremendous hosts of heaven. And I can see very clearly 
that the Lord is saying to this nation that you cannot fail ignorance on this. You cannot fake ignorance on this. You cannot pretend ignorance on this. And so, even as the revival continues in this land, now you know that the Lord must shake this land. There is an earthquake that is coming to this land. There is an earthquake coming to this land owing to this. Owing to the fact that this nation, the media, attempted to touch these two tremendous prophets of Yahweh. And he's saying there's a big responsibility when you host such hosts of eternity, of heaven. There's no room for ignorance. So he's holding you to account. Again, by voice he said the Lord is angry. And then he sent his servant to make a pronouncement of judgment on the land, and he shook the nation. He shook the nation. Then I saw an earthquake. And the buildings did swing left and right, left and right, and then up and down, up and down. I have seen that. So the Lord is going to hold them to account. It doesn't matter your media or who. But this nation needs to repent. If you don't repent, you cannot see eternity. You cannot enter eternity with God in heaven. You'll enter eternity in hell. Again, I just want to make it very clear here that you cannot mock these two prophets of eternity with God and enter into the glorious kingdom of heaven. Let me repeat this. You cannot attempt to touch these two prophets of eternity and then enter heaven. That will not happen. I can assure you on that, you can take that to the bank. You cannot touch this one here that has the golden key that opens heaven and then enter heaven. Hasn't the Lord spoken with this nation? Well, uh, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken judgment over this nation today. It's very clear that the Lord has spoken the judgment of the Lord coming to Kenya because of the blackmail, the abuse, the character assassination, the blackmail the ridicule, the mockery that this nation has subjected the Lord Jehovah, the God of Israel, over. And you know that the God of Israel cannot take one blackmail. He does not stand blackmail, ridicule, and mockery from those he has come to rescue. And so the Lord has spoken a very massive judgment and the voice of the Lord himself says, God is angry. The Lord God is angry. Then he led his two prophets to strike the land with a judgment, to pronounce the judgment of the Lord over this nation. Now, and then I saw the building trembling, swaying left and right, and then also up and down. An earthquake, a massive earthquake hit the land. Ever since I had this conversation with you until now, I have been negotiating with the Lord, talking to the Lord and telling the Lord that, Lord, why don't you command your two prophets to turn the judgment of the Lord specifically on the people that have abused the Lord? Because when you look at the meeting that took place at Central Park this past weekend, the entire Kenya is there. You can see that the entire Kenya loved the Lord. They honored the Lord. They revere the Lord. They worship the Lord. They fear the Lord. And yet, there are cripples that have walked in this land. The blind that have seen, the deaf and mute, and the revival is on. So I ask the Lord, will you crush all these people in that judgment? 
Then the Lord has spoken with his two prophets and said, the prophets of the Lord that are walking here have sufficient power to ensure the protection of all the people that love the Lord. They simply need to decree, and that is the decree I make today, that the wrath of God must still come. The Lord must still shake the land. But the Lord will direct his wrath towards the enemies of Jehovah. That power and authority and capacity we have. And that's why today we have stood before the Lord and decreed that the Lord will pursue the enemies of God in this land. Pursue them viciously with that extreme power and dread. That they will run for their lives and find no advantage. But for the millions of people that love the Lord, the huge number that gathered at Central Park this weekend in the churches, the cripples, the blind, the lovers of God, for them the Lord will now protect them by the blood of Jesus. This is the decree we have made before the Lord of all the earth today. And for the celebration that were decreed by the senior archbishop yesterday must continue. We must celebrate the goodness of the Lord and that the Lord is now going to turn his anger and his sword unto the enemies of God. And they are few. The rest of this nation, the majority of this nation, they know who the two mightiest prophets of the Lord are. They know that Elijah, Elijah, the most serious prophet of Yahweh is working here. The rest of the nation is aware. They are very much alive to the fact that Moses, the cloud of God has settled on Moses, the man of God. Unto man is appointed to die once. That's why he has come with a glorious body. That's why he's always in the background. That's why he's transfigured. And so the Lord has decreed today that the wrath of God must fall. The earthquake must come. But the Lord will pursue the enemies of God. He will make them run. He will chase them. And at the same time, he will protect his own, covered by the blood. I have decreed this. We have stood before the Lord, and the Lord has approved this. So you can now celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Celebrate the revival, because judgment and revival have entered the house at the same time. And the Lord is now separating his people. Wait and see the wonder now. From this point on, wait and see the wonder. The judgment that will befall the enemies of God, the blackmailers, those that ridicule the Lord, those that have cast assassinated God. Wait and see the wonder how the Lord is going to separate his people and bring a tremendous, unbelievable wrath on the other side and bring down the enemies of God. Unless they repent in the public. Has the Lord spoken with this man again? So let everybody celebrate now. Those that belong to the Lord continue celebration today and forever because the revival continues. But the enemies of God, they will be pursued. They will see the fear, the terror of God. He will pursue them. Read the Bible. Read the Bible and see the terror of God in the Bible. Where well, how he pursues his enemies. How he pursues them when he pursues them. They have nowhere to hide. Wait and see. But for the children of God, now you can begin celebrating the goodness of Jehovah. The revival is still here. The healing service will take place. The world explosion will continue. And at this point in time, this revival is unstoppable. The enemies of God are only few. Look at the crowd that gathered at Central Park Nairobi. March 24th, 2019. And then you will understand 
that the entire country is standing with the Lord and only a few people in the media. The Lord will now shake this country. He will shake it because of the Nairobi Star and the newspapers and the blackmailers on the web. But for the rest, they are fully secured by the blood of Jesus. Has the Lord spoken with you? Has the Jehovah spoken with this nation? Now wait and see the wonder of God. Wait and see how we separate his people and pursue the other people unbelievably. The Messiah is coming. Turn away from your sin. Repent and stop blackmailing the Lord. You will now fear these two prophets. Thank you.